In this lesson, we're going to look at how we change scenes. So the player is going to move through this little maze, flick on the switch, which will slide up the door, collect some coins, come across here, and then exit level one, which should take the player to level two. I'm just going to open level two, so level two. You can see we haven't finished this off, and you can finish that at your leisure. What I need to do is just to remove this tail here. So I'll just right click on that. So from level one, player exits here and enters here. So what I need to do is to create an instance of the player. So level two selected, instance a player and open, and we'll just drag the player to that point there. And I'll just go ahead and save that scene. Let me go back to level one. So as I said, the player is going to come along and exit through this point here. Now there's different ways we can do this. And the way I'm going to do it is with something called a visibility notifier. So I'm going to open my player scene. And in my player scene, I'm going to click to add a new node and search for visibility notifier 2D. I've already done that and we'll click on create. And this little box here, that is the visibility notifier. In other words, when this leaves the screen or exits the screen, that's when I want to change the scene. Now over here, we've got the nodes. And in the nodes, we can see we have this option here, screen exited. So I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to attach that to the player. And this is what it's called. It's called on visibility notifier 2D screen exited. I'm going to change that to player. So on player screen exited, and we'll just connect that. So here we have it down here. I'll just get rid of some of these little spaces here. And what I want to do in here is I just want to change the scene. So when we've detected the player's left level one, change it to level two. And the way we do that is we say get tree and just some brackets there. All right, so get tree means the tree, the whole node root of the game. And we want to then change the scene. So change the scene. So change underscore scene. And you can see we've got some options here, level one and level two. I'm gonna to change to level two. Now, if we're on level one, obviously we'll change to level two. But if I'm on level two, I'll want to change to level three, etc. So what I need to do here, let's go back to the script, is this level two is dependent on which level I am on. And I need to change that on the fly. So I'll get rid of two. I'm going to add a quote, then a plus, then another quote here. So what I'm saying is, I'm going to change to level, and then whatever I put in here, in between these two pluses, is going to be a number. Okay, well, how do we get that number? Well, the way we can get the number is quite simple. I've named my scenes as level one and level two, and obviously I have level three, four, etc. So I need to grab that number if I'm on level one and add one to it, and that will give me level two. If I'm on level two, obviously grab the number two, add one to it, that will give me level three, etc. Okay, so what we can do is we can say, well, get tree again. So get tree, and we want to get the current scene dot name. So get the name of the current scene. Now, if we get the name of the current scene, it's going to give us all of this with level one dot TSEN. We don't want that. We only want the number part of it, so the integer value. So we can wrap this in an int uh, method here. So int. And because we're grabbing a number, we need to convert that to a string. So we can wrap this whole thing in a string like this. Okay, well that will get the integer value. But if I'm on level one, it's going to grab level, and it's going to grab the one, the integer value. Well, I need to add one to that. So what I need to do here, whereas I've got the integer number, I just need to add one. Right, that should take care of moving up to the next level. You might want to pause and go through this again. It is fairly complicated. But if I play this, I'm on level one. 
I go along, I've hit the switch so you can see the door has opened. My score is increasing as I collect the coins. And obviously as I approach the door, what's going to happen is we've got that visibility notifier on the player. Now when that whole visibility notifier leaves this screen, and you see that in a second, let's go, we enter into level two. And obviously I can continue then, and I could put another little door over here or down here and continue into level three.